In this video, we will walk through city guides. We'll share what they are and how to add them to any itinerary or proposal that you create. First of all, City Guides is authentic destination content from our third-party supplier databases with direct input done by tourism boards and destination experts from around the world. It's such a great way to add a lot of rich information in about a destination. You can also add these guides in on those days that maybe you don't have anything booked for your client, but you still want to provide excellent suggestions of things that they can do in their downtime. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can add some guides in. All you have to do is go to the right hand side and you'll have your city guides button. Click into there and use the search bar to type in the destination name that you're looking for. Now, as you can see, we have two different guides that you can choose from. You can choose content from both or one or the other. It's up to you, but both are going to have really great content included in each one. I'm going to go with this first one. Once I click into here, you'll see that you have the entire guide that you can bring over into your itinerary or proposal. Otherwise, if you want to just bring over certain sections or specific places, you can drag and drop those in as well. For me, on this day two that doesn't have anything going on, I might want to give them do and see options. So I'm dragging and dropping it into this day. And as you can see, what populates over is a lot of information as well as different place attachments. Clients are going to be able to click into each one and they're going to get location information as well as an interactive map along with a little bit more description about each place. Now, if you wanna create your own city guide, all you have to do is go to whatever day or section you wanna add this to, select new event, go down towards the bottom and select info, and up at the top, you can select it to be a city guide. From here, fill in the information such as the title, your own descriptions, your own photos, and when you're ready to add different places, Use that search bar to search for those places to add in to make sure it brings over some location information like that map. Once you're done, you can always save it to your library by clicking the three dots and saving it directly to your library to use for future trips. But that's it. That's how you can use city guides to make sure you're saving yourself a lot of time, but still providing your clients excellent suggestions and content. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to explore the rest of our getting started guide videos.